Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bully. Today I am going to show you guys how to build a dropshipping store using the Woo Dropship plugin and WordPress. There are so many good WordPress plugins out there with both free and paid plans that you could use to build a dropshipping store to create an asset for yourself and your family. In this tutorial, we will explore the Woo Dropship plugin. But before we get started, I want to welcome back all my subscribers. I appreciate you all. But for those who are brand new to my channel, my name is Bully. I create tutorials about e-commerce web designs focusing on user experience using WordPress. All right, with that being said, let's jump right in. Let's go to woodropship.com. We need to download the plugin to install on our demo store. Click the Get Dropshipping Plugin button on the top. Or if you don't want to, you could scroll down the page a little bit to read more about the plugin. Obviously, they said there are about over 80,000 active installations. You can pretty much add all the products from AliExpress to your online store. And you have to install a Google Chrome extension in order to add a product to your online store. Or you could buy this plugin, it's about $49. But Mostly this plugin will let you add about five products for free without buying the plugin yet. Let's click the button get started. Next, you need to enter this form to sign up for an account with them. Enter all the information right here. Enter the password, enter your email address, and then click the sign up button. Over here, you need to add the URL of your online store. Let's go back to the demo store to copy the URL. And then come back here and paste the URL right here and click the connect button. Make sure that it is you sign in as an admin right here. So the Woo Dropship plugin will have the permission to read and write or to view and manage your products in your online store. Then click the approve button. And then it will redirect you back to your Woo Dropship dashboard. And this is your dashboard. The next step is that you need to install their Google Chrome extension. As you could see, you could click on the step number one and then the tab will be expanded. Click the Chrome extension and just click the add to chrome button to install the extension click add extension and there you go the extension has been added to chrome close it out and then just click that icon to pin the extension onto your browser bar so we can access it or click on it to see some other settings easily. And that's the extension. Just click the pin to pin it. And then there it is. It's on our browser bar now. Let's close out this tab. Next, 
let's click on step number two which is adding a product from aliexpress to your wool drop ship dashboard and they have quite very clear instruction down here for you to read if you want to let's open another tab and sign into your aliexpress account make sure you have to sign in ignore all the bar that said ali drop ship and the orange shopping cart icon i need to disable this plugin a little bit to test out the woo dropship plugin and then let's add a product so i am going to add that cable holder click the product picture so we could go over some of the information about this cable holder it's about one dollars and one cent it has free shipping it has a lot of orders that's the next page so it detected something unusual from my network from my demo store maybe my demo store is in main and mode but don't worry about this i have to slide that button and that's the blue button on the bottom right corner that says add to import list that we're going to use let's scroll down a little bit you could see all the graph and information about the sales and all this stuff that comes from the google chrome extension called Asify. so this product looks good so far it has a very good ratings and it has so many orders so far like over 8,000 orders so let's click on add to the import list button and then it say it's added to your import list so you have to go back to your woodrop ship dashboard and click on the products menu on the left and then you will see your imported product right here click on the title of the product to edit the product edit the title right here this plugin doesn't copy over the product description from aliexpress so you have to copy the description of the product manually or use a plugin to import this somehow i'm not going to talk about another plugin about this in this tutorial click the sync categories button here so we can assign the product to our demo store product category next click on the attributes tab to edit the attributes here mostly i just leave all these colors the same next is variance tab i want to add only four variants you can disable variants right here so it won't be published on your online store and you could change your regular price or the sale price right here too once you are done modifying the information or for each product you can click outside these edit product box so it will save the information for you automatically because they don't have the save button here you won't be defined the save changes button or something like that so just click outside the white box and then everything will be saved for you automatically okay once you are done click the publish button right here as you could see you can import up to five products for free otherwise you have to pay 49 dollars this is only a lifetime membership fee 
that you could get priority support, unlimited product imports, unlimited orders, variance mapping, all such. I think it is very good deal. That's under the billing section. And for the settings tab right here, you can change the product price settings right here. Let's change the value to three times each product price and click the save button. And then that's the account tab. It's your account credentials. That's the support tab. You could chat with a customer support, reach out to somebody if you need help. That help center is their knowledge base if you need to search for information about something. Let's go back to the demo store to refresh the page and go to the products. There it is. That's the cable holder that we just added. Just click on the title of the product to edit the product. Right here, you need to add the product description. Don't forget to add a new category to this product. I just picked back pain relief belt on the other end of the dropship dashboard. It's not, it's not really its own category. So I'm going to add a new one, which is office accessories and then assign it to the office accessories and don't forget to add some product tags here so your customers or your potential customers can search for your products easily on your website it's better for search engine optimization don't forget to add your meta description for search engine optimization so people could find your product on the internet easily in this case, I install Yoast SEO for this to help out. And scroll down a little bit. We are going to edit the variations. As you can see, we disabled some variants on the Woodrop Shift dashboard, but it looks like it doesn't work like that. We have to go through this tab to remove some of the variants manually and we need to check on the prices that we entered also if they really changed what we wanted them to change okay I need to edit the variations right here and remove some of them make sure you go through all of this we will have only a couple of colors. We will have blue, green, black, and white. Scroll down a little bit. This is a side chart that we could add the information about the sizes of the cable holder. So let's go back to the AliExpress.com. We are going to use one of the useful Google Chrome extensions that's called Asify, but AliExpress Image Downloader is a good one too. And that's the image of the size of the cable holder that we are going to download using Asify. The images that we got from the Woodrop chip extension are not enough or may be not enough you have to check the images in your library and we have some extra images right here you don't have to worry about editing these images because they are already optimized the size even though it's 800 by 800 pixels but the size it's well below 50 kilobytes which is quite small and very optimized for websites you can just upload the images to your media library right here as you can see we got only some images from the woodrop ship extension 
not too many that I like. All right, let's scroll down a little bit to add description for the product, short description. This section will be displayed on top of the page. The Wool Dropship plugin doesn't have adding a customer reviews feature to your online store, so you need to find another plugin to do that job for you. Let's go to the front end of the demo store and refresh the page. Here it is. That's the product that we just added and published from the Wool Dropship dashboard. And as of right now, we are going to fix the attributes real quick because the attributes still display so many colors in the product page. It's on the attributes tab and this is where you have to edit the attributes and then click the save attributes button once you're done. And then we have to fix the variations for a little bit since we just fixed the green attribute. Let's go to the front end of the demo store and refresh the page. Let's check the additional information tab right here. There it is. You can see only four colors right here that we want to add to the demo store. Next, we will fulfill an order that I just checked out in the demo store. Make sure to sign into your AliExpress account. I installed an AdBlock extension in my Google Chrome, so I need to disable it. So the Wool Dropship plugin can fulfill the order at AliExpress in another tab. Go to Wool Dropship plugin dashboard and go to orders and then refresh the page and then click the fulfill order button. Wool Dropship will automatically add your orders to your AliExpress cart and will access your customer's address or shipping information and displays it in a pop-up at the bottom right corner of your AliExpress checkout page. After your order is added to your card, you can then complete it by manually filling in the address information of your customer reading the pop-up. Then go over the order information again to make sure everything is correct. For example, you need to check if the shipping method option is right. Add your payment information. This should be your business credit card. But if you don't have one yet, your personal credit card will do. Just ignore the pop-up box at the bottom right corner. That box is for the customer's information generated by the Wool Dropship plugin. It will disappear on its own. Once everything looks good, just click the place order button on the right. And that's pretty much it. That's all for today's tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about using the Wool Dropship plugin to build your dropshipping store. And would love to share it with our community. I would love to hear from you guys a lot. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And turn on that notification bell. So you won't miss any future uploads about e-commerce web designs from me. If you guys find this video helpful somehow, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate your support a lot. Thank you so much. If you guys want to support my channel, I add all the links in the description box below for you guys to check out all right thank you so much for being here to watch my video you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are i'll see you in my next video bye now